We've been doing a lot of attractions during our San Diego week here, seeing so many different things. What about you? What's your favorite thing to do in San Diego? I would have to say my favorite thing to do in San Diego is go to um, Torrey Pines, the hike in La Jolla, um, at night for sunset because it's beautiful. Um, I really like to go to the beach. Um, I really like Mission Beach, Pacific Beach. So that's usually what I'm doing when I'm not here. So. All right. What's your favorite thing to do here in San Diego? Definitely go surfing up north in Pacific Beach <laughs> or down south in I It's really fun waves. It's always a good time. Ooh, that, there's a lot. There's so many things you can do. I actually didn't know about the hike. That's pretty cool. Oh, you didn't know that? No. You gotta go back. Yeah. Well, I go, <laughs> I go back quite a bit so, with my daughter there. So it's, that's true. Yeah. So looks like a lot of good fun stuff to do <laughs> in San Diego week. So far on Living 808 has taken our team everywhere from Legoland to Little Italy. And today we make a stop at Balboa Park, a mecca for museums, attractions, and the largest outdoor instrument in the world. Park is a 1,200-acre park filled with theaters, museums, and so many more great activities. Here to tell us all about it is Jennifer, who is the Director of Cultural Tourism for Balboa Park. Hello. Hey, how are you? So good. So happy to be here because this place is absolutely incredible. There are so many things to do here. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment, but tell us about the history of Balboa Park. Well, so it actually was established 150 years ago, but where it really kind of made its mark was in 1915 with its first expo. From there, we've just built this. It's the cultural heart of San Diego. Definitely. I, I, I can get that feeling, you know, just hanging out around here. And I actually grew up in San Diego, North County, okay. and my first ever high school dance was here at the Air and Space Museum. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm definitely very familiar with it. But for those who don't know, you know, tell us all about the different things. What are the must-do here? There are 17 museums from everything from the Fleet Science Center to the Natural History Museum to the Museum of Art. The museum photography, there's gardens, you can have picnics here, there's, it's great hiking, there's 65 miles worth of hiking trails throughout the park ranging from super easy to, to more difficult. And then there's the organ, Trickles Organ Society um, with their free concerts at the lar world's largest uh, outdoor instrument. Awesome, and we're actually going to be getting a okay. preview of that in a little bit. But where are we right now? Because this is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is gorgeous. So this is actually from the 1915 Expo it was built. It's our botanical building and they have uh, over 2,100 different types of plants and flowers in there. It's free to the public. I think it's one of the largest wooden lap structures in the world, <laughs> claim to fame. But no, it's, it's amazing when you go in there. You should check it out for sure. Wonderful. And you mentioned the word free. There's a lot of budget-friendly things oh, to yeah. do here. What, are, what different activities are there? The History Museum is a pay-what-you-will. All the concerts at the Spreckles, the Sunday concerts at the Spreckles Organ Society are free. On the weekends, the, we have the House of Hospitalities with different countries from Iran to Ireland to Italy um, and they have like cultural programs there that's also free to the public to sort of check out and like I said you can just you know pull up a picnic blanket and, and uh, have a picnic too so all of that stuff is great. Absolutely incredible. So you can really spend not just a day here you could spend days here yes, at Buffalo no, Park. And that's actually one thing to think about is if you are coming um, there's an Explorer Pass so Google it Explorer Pass um, Balboa Park and they have one-day passes where you can get into five museums of your choice for one day, and it's a lot less than having to buy tickets for each of them. And then they have a multi-day where you can go to all 16 museums um, for, for a low price. Wonderful. So, so many deals here. Uh -huh. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for joining us. And we're actually going to be talking a little bit more about some activities to do here in just a bit. We're so lucky to be joined by a world-class concert artist and the newly named civic organist here at Balboa Park, Raul. Good morning. Hello. Good okay, morning. so excited to have you because this is such a big honor. Tell us what you just were named. Well, um, this city of San Diego, since over 100 years, they have been having a civic organist, which is a person that actually plays the instrument right here, which is the largest open-air uh, musical instrument in the world. How does it feel? Is it, isn't it such an honor to be able to be chosen? It's, it's a great honor, definitely, and it's also a great responsibility because uh, as a musician, it's really wonderful to have an audience there, the whole city and visitors are just uh, thirsty for music. Uh, every every Sunday, so you just have a week to prepare new music and then 
uh, just uh, share with them. It's very demanding, but on the other, on the other side, it's very rewarding. I bet. Because you will listen, this, this instrument really fills the whole space, it, it really touches your soul. And being able to just work on that Monday through Friday and then perform on Sunday, uh, that's, that's really a beautiful life. That's wonderful. And it sounds amazing. And speaking of filling the space with the music, yeah. you're going to be treating us a bit. So we're going to yes, get a I sneak am. peek. Thank you so, so much, Raul, for joining you're us. You're welcome. Yeah! Wow! Look at the that! The largest outdoor instrument in the world, right there at Balboa Park. So much to see. Look at that, the museums and history, and quite a performer there, Melody Yeah, Dramatic. no, he, he really gets into it, and uh, as well he should, because it's a pretty mm -hmm. amazing uh, place, yep. and the sound is amazing. We need those sound effects, just to make everything we do here more <laughs> dramatic. I know, not just the... <laughs> <but we'd, laughs> Don't worry. Embellishment. The sound effects are coming. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you want to go to Balboa Park like we did, all you have to do is hop on an Alaska Airlines flight. I know we sound like a commercial, but folks, we are telling you this is great stuff. San Diego with nonstop flights from Honolulu, Lehue, Kahului, and Kona. In fact, Alaska has the most nonstop flights to the most West Coast destinations. And we're not done yet because there's power outlets at every seat. More than 400 free movies and TV shows and fresh meal options. I know that was good stuff, right? Yeah, the food was awesome. We weren't treated any differently than any other person flying the plane. It was just great because we felt like we were VIPs. And when you plan your Alaska airline trip, don't forget, their famous companion fare offer with the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card. You can check everything out at alaskaair.com. And Alaska Airlines ranked highest in customer satisfaction among traditional carriers for 11 years in a row by J.D. Powers. We just like to remind you. And, <laughs> of course, they're the best U.S. airline by Condé Nast Traveler. And guess what? We love this because we're not just telling you how great it is. We want to send one lucky viewer and a friend to experience it themselves. You can get free round trip to San Diego or yep. anywhere else that Alaska flies. Because it's the Alaska <laughs> Airlines Great Escape Giveaway. This yeah. one is easy to enter. Go to KHON2.com, look for the contest page, and fill out the entry form. There it is. You're going to be entered into our random drawing to win round trip tickets for two. Once again, for anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Now, the deadline is tomorrow, so be sure to head on over to KHON2.com to enter today. If you go to KHON2.com, I'll help you out a little bit. Just look down to the right. There's an events and contests tab. All right. You'll see a couple things pop in there, populate mm -hmm. in there. You may not see it right away, but it'll sh eventually show up. It's super easy. Just go to our KHON2.com. Find com it. And <laughs> <laughs> and you could, you know, it doesn't it make out. that sound effect, does no, it? No, no, no. You, but, you're adding that. but if you invite me over for like lunch <laughs> or something, I can just go <laughs> bing for just you. For you, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, San Diego week ends with a bang, with a, uh, a club crawl. Oh, 